So, today we're going to learn how to do a hyperlapse. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. I will show a quick hyperlapse right here. Bam. So, that's pretty much what we're learning today. How to do it. It's simple. Let's get to it. We'll hop into After Effects here. Let's go. So, once you have After Effects open here, we're going to Control I, or you can right click Import, and we are importing all the files you've taken. So what a hyperlapse pretty much is, is you sit there focusing on a subject and you take a picture, you take a step back, step forward, right, left, however you like, and then you take another picture. You take another step, another picture, and you do this for about two to 300 pictures or so. And then what we do is we take those pictures, put them into After Effects here, and we combine them all into one endless video. And so it looks like a, uh, like you were walking, but in fact, their pictures compiled together. It's really quite a cool effect here. So I shot in RAW, as you guys can see. And so we are going to select the first RAW photo all the way down to the last. And the critical step here is to select camera RAW sequence. And we are going to import. Now, some key things that I want to show you, and I'm glad that this popped up, is when I was shooting this hyperlapse, I was having some difficulties with my lens focusing and I turned it and it took a picture accidentally. Well, that picture I then deleted because I didn't want it because it wasn't my subject. Well, what happens is when you import this into After Effects, it notices that there's a missing file and it just says there's three missing frames. Well, that's going to come up with a black bar or something and it's going to be in the middle of your hyperlapse which don't fret because it's easy to get out in post when we put it into Premiere, we're just gonna cut that frame out. So don't worry about it. If you have this error, it's totally okay. So what you're gonna notice right away is it's gonna give you the option to color grade it. I'm gonna say okay. I don't wanna do that right now. So we're gonna drag that onto our timeline and this thing is gonna be a beast. It is going to be a 6K. That's just what my image quality was, which is really nice in post because there's a lot to work with. So right off the bat, um, I'm just going to put, I guess, I guess I just put it into render here. Could drop it in, you could watch it if you like. I'm just gonna straight up go file and I'm going to export the thing on the add to render queue. I am going to make sure it's full. I'm going to change my frame rate to what my frame rate would be at the very end of the clip or the final clip so to say which is going to be 24 frames for me. We're going to go AVI and I'm going to save it as LA Hyperlapse which I have already saved so I'm not going to do this again but then you're going to hit render. So after your video has rendered we are then going to open up Adobe Premiere Pro here and what we're going to do is we're going to import this hyperlapse into Premiere Pro if you have missing frames we're going to quickly cut those out here and then we're going to add some effects here to make this hyperlapse look pretty cool so we'll call this hyperlapse uh, observe really fast cool all right so we're going to import this hyperlapse into Premiere here, which da, 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 is right here. Bam. Awesome. So we have it. We're going to drag it onto our timeline. And right away, we're going to come up to sequence settings. You notice, depending on how big your image quality is, we're going to change this to what your final video size would be which mine is 1920 by 1080 and it's going to tell you size da, 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 da. hit ok and now it's really scaled in as you guys can tell but don't worry we're going to go into editing search for transform here and we're going to drag that over and just knowing my file size I'm going to be able to scale this 30 down to 33 percent which is quite crazy but it's gonna really help us. So now the key is you're gonna to have to go through if you have missing frames, frame by frame until you find those missing frames. So here's one. You're going to zoom in and this is a quick process. Cut, go one frame over, cut, and we're going to delete that. And we're going 
going to delete the space in between and then I know there's one more missing frame somewhere down over here so after you have cut these frames out here which come on baby where is it there it is cut it out you are going to want to nest this physical sequence here so what we're going to do come on, delete that I'm going to especially if you had to cut it out we're going to nest it bam we're good next is we're going to right click speed duration and we're going to bump this up so I'm going to put it up to about 300% because that's what I did last time and it looked pretty good so it's now 300% now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make this smooth as butter, people. I'm talking smooth. So the way to do this is we're going to add some stabilization on this. And Premiere Pro has this thing where if you change the speed at all on a clip, you cannot use a warp stabilizer. So the trick to get around this is to nest it again. So you're going to right click nest again. So there's two nested sequences in here. Come over to warp stabilizer. We're going to apply this to the clip. And now, because our clip is so big that we have so much room to work with in post, we are going to go to advanced and instead of crop less, I, I could have it crop more because it's so big. I want to make it smooth. So I'm going to put this about up to 80%. It's going to reinitialize, it's going to stabilize. And then I'm going to render it and I'm going to show you guys the final product here. All right, so after. After it has been rendered, this is what our hyperlapse looks like. I mean, that looks pretty freaking cool if you have to ask me. And that's only about 100 shots. I should have technically got another 100, maybe even 200 more. I could even speed it up more in that case, make the clip a little longer. But, I mean, this is a really cool effect. It puts a really dramatic feeling on your videos, and it makes it really fast-paced when that music hits. So I recommend you guys go out, try it. You can even go sideways. It does not have to be back or forth. Um, mess around with it. But in that case, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next video.